Hi, uh, my name is Rajiv Dadia from Summer Technologies. Uh, today I'm video blogging on the topic of purpose of BI. Uh, pretty introductory, uh, next few minutes uh, we'll talk about uh, what drives the need for business intelligence in an organization uh, and, and why this has come to the level of prominence that it has come to today uh, uh, as we uh, approach 2012. Uh, there has been emergence of this field over the past 30 years, especially over the last uh, 15 to 20 years, uh, in, in a level of uh, uh, prominence, if you will, within organization. Uh, but do we really understand the reason why we want to have BI in the first place? And, and kind of starting from that point onwards, I want to go a little bit into what is it that it tries to deliver or solve and how does it go about doing it. Uh, so towards that end, uh, I will start with first of all the purpose of BI. What is what is it that it's trying to achieve? And and I would like to make it very simple and say it's to answer a business question. So um, every one of us, uh, any role within an organization, when you uh, when you look at, has uh, uh, that particular job function has set of business questions that they are trying to answer. Um, if 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 we kind of really stop and think about it, I know it. It sometimes is like no, I do a million different things. Yes, that might be true, but at the end of the day, you might be answering five, ten, fifteen key business questions uh, for your um, uh, for that job function that you are that 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 you are uh, performing, and and understanding those business questions properly, and then seeing how business intelligence can answer those questions. Uh, is the whole uh, gamut of, of what data management and business intelligence is all about. And um, uh, the word answer business question might also be a little too strong. Uh, it's not necessary always that business intelligence can answer a question. It can even aid in answering that particular business question, still it will perform its role. Um, so we do not look at systems, computer systems, uh, softwares, to necessarily tell us what to do. It's one of the things we look at in the portfolio of things that we are looking at. Uh, we look at, uh, you know, talk to go talk to someone, for example, uh, look at a um, uh, couple of different pieces of information. That's where BI comes in. And then use our intuition correlation capabilities um, uh, and, and be able to make a decision. Uh, but in that whole uh, equation, uh, that information plays uh, an important role and more so now given uh, the scale of things uh, sometimes things are not that intuitive uh, when things were uh, 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 we were able to conceive them and, and manage them uh, within within our capacity now given the scale of, of business of, of data um, there is just too many variables and if we did not have a system to help us organize that and present it to us to aid in that decision making process obviously it will make our job much more difficult and, and, and converge that if those were present, it will make that job much more easier. So kind of to recap again, uh, it's all about making a business decision, moving the business forward for business benefit. Hence, I have to answer these business questions and when I'm answering those business questions, I need an aid uh, to be able to look at what has happened, what has happened in the past, what's happening right now, maybe even do a little bit of prediction and say these are the different scenarios that can happen in the future uh, present to me in the form and, and, and uh, uh, visualization uh, and through the medium, be it a laptop or a, or a tablet or, or my phone, and be able to uh, then interpret that data towards my decision making process. So that's an A. That's what data management and business intelligence is all about. So when I'm referring to business intelligence in this context, I'm talking everything from end to end from data extraction uh, from from underlying systems all the way to uh, visualization uh, to an end user as to how uh, uh, she consumes that data in in day-to-day -day activity so that's the overall um, uh, 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 scope of BI and the purpose is to be able to answer a business question now it's always worthwhile to look a little bit into detail and 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 uh, you know um, everything uh, that 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 can be simplified uh, obviously has a level of complexity underneath uh, that that we should explore a little bit to get a little bit better better understanding. So um, so so what what is involved in being able to answer a business question? What are the aspects that we should look at uh, to be able to say, am I answering uh, a business question? Well, business question for what? Uh, to whom? 
um, uh, and, 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 and so on, and how do you measure the effectiveness of their answer, and so on. Uh, so towards that end, uh, we'll start making some, some at least assumptions within the framework uh, that at least I would like to um, uh, suggest. And there are multiple such frameworks that you can look at. But the first framework uh, would be uh, to be able to say granularity of the business question. Is business question always about uh, top level? How do I increase my sales? How do I increase my margins? How do I uh, produce more goods, increase the yield? Is it always that or can it be a different level in organization? Maybe someone cares about um, uh, you know, how many uh, units are to be produced today and that's all they, that person cares about. So, so there are levels in the organization, hence we cannot say that business question is same for everyone. It's different for every individual. So then how do you do you do this? How do you know what's the scope of the questions that I want to answer? And, 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 and what uh, Sama would like to propose, uh, we work uh, with, uh, with a methodology called Lobi Framework, uh, L-O-B-I, Letter of Business Intelligence. And, and that framework uh, basically suggests that if you were to um, uh, look at things at an organization level, saying what is HR looking for, what is finance looking for, what is manufacturing looking for, that's way too um, a coarse. And if you try to look at things at an individual level, uh, what is John looking for, what is uh, you know Kim looking for, and be able to look at that level, we are being too granular. In an organization today, you could have 2,000 individuals, 5,000, 20,000, 100,000. And are you going to look through each one of them to see what business needs they have? Uh, it'll take a lot of time and doesn't add as much value. But then what is the right level? And, and the right level is a business role. In an organization, um, uh, typically if you look around, there might be a handful of, literally handful of business roles that you are dealing with within, a, let's say, department. At a company level, maybe at the most 100, 115 business roles that you are looking at, uh, who, which needs to be served through this uh, business intelligence process. So, so the granularity to look at is at a business role level. So for a given business role, what is my question? Is the first thing I, I want to be able to get answer to. Once I understand um, that, that this is what I want to uh, get an answer to, I've understood the purpose, I've understood my end goal. Uh, but now I need to understand a little bit more to be able to answer that question. So the next uh, point that, that we would look at is to be able to understand um, the, the information required to be able to answer that question. So that would be the next, uh, uh, next step in that sequence. So I've understood the question. Question is, uh, how many people do I need to hire in next six months? Okay, that's, that's a fair question. Maybe there is a business role within, within that um, um, department which needs to answer that question. Uh, then I, I'm going to I try to answer the uh, answer the next uh, point in that sequence, which is information. Um, what information do I need? Um, in a, in a separate mini session, I'll, I'll briefly mention that there is a difference between data and information. Uh, information actually answers the business question. Data is more of a raw form of that. Uh, uh, information, if you will, something which we have collected but may or may not answer the business question. When you get it in the right form, right visualization and right representation for the right context, that's when it becomes information. So that's the next question. What is the information that is needed? Uh, then, uh, then, then now once we have understood that, maybe we can we should just go out and start doing it. Maybe we can start answering those questions and getting that information, collecting it, presenting it and giving it to the business user. Um, but then comes the question of prioritization. If we, I try to answer each and every business question in the organization, um, maybe that's too much. I need to pick and choose the highest impact um, business questions that, uh, that would make sense uh, for, for using you know, biggest bang for the buck. Uh, so for that purpose, um, I'm going to ask two more questions uh, in the sequence and, and, and to get to a point where I can say, these are the five business questions we want to answer for this organization, for this department, whatever the scope that you're looking at. So the next question then uh, in that sequence is the, uh, uh, the decision. What business decision are going to be taken 
once I have provided that information. So I had a question, I provided a certain information, a decision gets take, uh, taken, saying that we're gonna hire uh, five of these kind of developers, two project managers, and, 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 uh, 